Antarctica or is Earth's southernmost continent. It contains the geographic South Pole and is situated in the Antarctic region of the Southern Hemisphere, almost entirely south of the Antarctic Circle, and is surrounded by the Southern Ocean. At 14,200,000 square kilometers, 5,500,000 square miles, it is the fifth largest continent and nearly twice the size of Australia. It is by far the least populated continent, with around 5,000 people in the summer and around. Animal life land fauna The native land fauna is wholly invertebrate. Apparently climatically less tolerant and less easily dispersed, the fauna follows plant colonization of newly deglaciated regions and therefore is not as widely distributed. The Antarctic microfauna includes heliozoans, rotifers, tardigrades, nematodes, and ciliate protozoans. The protozoans dominate soil and freshwater communities. The terrestrial macrofauna consists entirely of arthropods, many species being parasitic on birds and seals. The principal arthropod groups represented include acarina, mites, malafaga, biting lice, columbola, springtails, anaplura, sucking lice, diptera, midges, and siphonaptera, fleas. Two species of beetles, probably alien, are known from islands near the Antarctic Peninsula. The dominant free-living forms, mites and springtails, live under stones and are associated with spore-reproducing plants. Antarctica is governed by parties to the Antarctic Treaty System. Twelve countries signed the Antarctic Treaty in 1959, and 38 have signed it since then. The treaty prohibits military activities, mineral mining, nuclear explosions and nuclear waste disposal. It supports scientific research and protects the continent's ecology. Between 1,000 and 5,000 people from many countries reside at research stations scattered across the continent. Several governments maintain permanent, staff research stations on the continent. The number of people conducting and supporting scientific research and other work on the continent and its nearby islands varies from about 1,000 in winter to about 5,000 in the summer, giving it a population density between 70 and 350 inhabitants per million square kilometers, 180 and 900 per million square miles, at these times. Many of the stations are staffed year-round, the winter over personnel typically arriving from their home countries for a one-year assignment. An Orthodox Church, Trinity Church, opened in 2004 at the Russian Bellingshausen Station, is manned year-round by one or two priests, who are similarly rotated every year. Each year, Scientists from 28 nations conduct experiments not reproducible in any other place in the world. In the summer more than 4,000 scientists operate research stations. This number decreases to just over 1,000 in the winter. One McMurdo station, which is the largest research station in Antarctica, is capable of housing more than 1,000 scientists, visitors, and tourists. 212. Researchers include biologists, geologists, oceanographers, physicists, astronomers, glaciologists, and meteorologists. Geologists tend to study plate tectonics, meteorites from outer space, and resources from the breakup of the supercontinent Gondwana. Glaciologists in Antarctica are concerned with the study of the history and dynamics of floating ice, seasonal snow, glaciers, and ice sheets. Biologists, in addition to examining the wildlife, 
are interested in how harsh temperatures and the presence of people affect adaptation and survival strategies in a wide variety of organisms. 213 medical physicians have made discoveries concerning the spreading of viruses and the body's response to extreme seasonal temperatures. 214. Since the 1970s an important focus of study has been the ozone layer in the atmosphere above Antarctica. In 1985, three British scientists working on data they had gathered at Halley Station on the Brunt Ice Shelf discovered the existence of a hole in this layer. It was eventually determined that the destruction of the ozone was caused by chlorofluorocarbons CFCs, emitted by human products. 215. With the ban of CFCs in the Montreal Protocol of 1989, climate projections indicate that the ozone layer will return to 1980 levels between 2050 and 2070. 216. In 2007, the Polar Geospatial Center was founded. The Polar Geospatial Center uses geospatial and remote sensing technology to provide mapping services to American federally funded research teams. Currently, the Polar Geospatial Center can image all of Antarctica at 500 mm, 20 in resolution every 45 days. 217. In 2007 the Belgian-based International Polar Foundation unveiled the Princess Elizabeth Station, the world's first 